Hello everyone, I'm back to show you um, another way to use your Perfect Curls if um, you were wondering what they were from Blitzy. Um, if you've never been to Blitzy.com, um, it's a website that has really, really great deals on crafting supplies. Um, really good deals. Um, and so what happens is, say, okay, if you've never been, you go to the link that's below this video and you can sign up. It's a free membership. It doesn't cost anything just to browse. But when you decide, if you decide to buy anything, what happens is, because you signed up under me, then I would get a $10 credit to shop there. Um, so that's great. Okay, so I figured why not share, right? Why not share a great deal? Now, um, um, sometimes though you might see things there that you don't even know what they are like for the for one time there were those La Blanche stamps and I had no idea what they were I had never seen them before and then I did see some videos but by the time I saw them and saw how cool they were they were gone they weren't there anymore because the deals are only there for a limited amount of time okay so you can't wait too long you need to kinda decide quickly if you want it or not because it's gonna be gone so that's why I wanted to show you so that people would know what it is and it might be something you you think you like or it might be something that you say I don't think I would ever use that I and you know so don't get it you know what I mean that happened with the smooch I really am not into that smooch I'm gonna keep giving it a try but you know I wish I hadn't bought it because I'm not really into it. Okay, we're going to make a card. We're going to make a little robot card. And this is the little robot guy. And I got him from this Sandy Lion set that I got on clearance from Michaels back in the summer. And here he is. Let me get him out. Okay, and he's not all there because I actually cut this out. I, I stamped him with Memento, Tuxedo Black Memento Ink. And then, if you see, I don't know if the camera picks this up very well, but it is shimmery. And the reason it's shimmery is because I turned my Perfect Pearls into paint. So you can actually paint with it. Now, um, he looks kind of messed up here because I had given him a black nose with uh, stickles. And then I, I put something on top of it and ruined it. So that's why his nose looks a little like he was in a fight or something but you can see the black stickles there on his belly so let me stamp him so you can see one recommendation is that this is not watercolor paper but if you use watercolor paper it's good because it's a little sturdier but I didn't even do that okay so just use some sort of a permanent dye ink like memento and just stamp him down okay and so there's his complete image okay I'm gonna stamp him again over here I'm gonna use this foam mat oh you know what I forgot I was going to okay so you know you may not know this um, my heat gun Died, my Marvi Uchida one, the silver one. And I put it in order of Stampin' Up for a brand new Stampin' Up one. But it hasn't come in yet because it's only been a couple days. However, I think that if I put this in my heat in my um in my melting pot, I think it gets hot enough that it will melt the embossing powder. So we're gonna um, do this again. And do it on, no, I'm not going to do it on that one because that's for the card. I'm going to do it on this one. So we're going to do a little experiment. Oh, that's a much, much better impression of that ink. This is actually, this is the pigment ink, Inka Dinka Doo pigment ink that I got at Walmart. And I need clear embossing powder. So yeah, so I'm totally missing my heat gun. I realize now that 
it really should be like number three of my top faves because um, every day I want to grab for it and it's not there and I miss it. Okay, let's see. Yep, it's all embossed. The embossing powder is sticking. That's what I want. And then I'm going to cut this so that I can stick the paper inside of my melting pot. Let me bring my melting pot. It's hot. It's all the way up to the UT temperature. And let's hope I don't start a fire. I should have a fire extinguisher nearby. <laughs> No, it's going to be fine. We're not going to start a fire. Alright, stick it in there. I'm going to cover it up for a second see what happens. Oh, it's melting! Do you see that? Let me get my tweezers before it does burn. Because it is paper, you know. Yes, it's working. Yay! worked. It worked. All right. Yeah. Now, not that I want to emboss like that every time. So, I can't wait till my heat gun is here. But in the meantime, that worked and it worked really nicely. Look at that. I'm impressed. All right. So, back to what we were talking about. We want to make paints out of our powders here. And I wanted him to be um, like a blue color. So what I did, I used my aqua pen. You can find these at Michael's and Joann's. And um, Tim Holtz just came out with two different size ones that I will be getting because one of them is a, is a fat one. It's a wide one. I've been watching CHA on YouTube. You guys have been probably watching too. But here's what you do. You This is wet, okay, because there's water. Yep, water in there. And I'm not going to squeeze the water in there. I'm just going to dip the paintbrush in there. And then what you do is you just mix it up in here. I don't know if you can see this. It's going to zoom in. It's going to get a little bit more. A lot goes a long way. And so see how I have like a little puddle of paint there. Now the reason why I like to emboss it first is it kind of keeps your colors where you want them. The little wall of embossing powder. And so then you just take it and you just paint. And then everywhere where it's embossed it's going to resist because it is embossed. And you just paint and you can shade and it's really cool and then you know you can put less water and then if you put less water then it's more pasty more of a pasty paint but see how it's keeping the colors where I want them And then I can take a little cloth if I want to dry it off a little bit. And you can just take that and dab it. Okay, and then I can just continue and maybe do the top. I'm not going to do this whole thing while you guys watch because what's going to happen is it's going to be wet. <clears throat> and then I need to let it dry so that um, I can cut him out. Why don't we do another experiment and see how long it takes for it to dry in the melting pot. And then what you do to change colors is you can get a paper towel or a rag like I have here and just keep dabbing it until the water is clear and then you do the same thing. I'll show you here it's going to be a creamier consistency. I'm not going to... I don't want as much water but and you just keep doing that until it's the consistency that you want I love it I love it I love it it's so fun 
and then you can just paint it. I'm just going to paint all the other areas that I want to be green. And his arms are going to get cut out, cut off. See that? Let's see how he's all wrinkly in the face. I'm going to put him in here and see. The smoking pot is still really, really hot. So I just want to see what happens. I don't want to put him in there for too long because it's very hot and I don't want the embossing powder to burn. I just want to see what happens with the drying time. You can't even see it, sorry. But the paper's turning brown in the back, so it is a little hot. So I'm going to see if I can um, dry the paint. Okay. So let's see if it's dry. It is. It's dry. That worked. And so then I would just cut him out. And that's what I did to this guy. And um, the other one came out better because I did not emboss this one. But what I'm going to do, and I'm not going to actually glue this guy down because, like I said, I like the other one better. But I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do. Let me move this out of the way. <coughs> and here I have a, you know, basic A2 size card, eight and a half by, or four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I have a piece of green. This, these were all from my scraps. This one actually measures three inches by five and a half. And then this little piece, which is where I'm going to stamp my image again. And I'm going to use this again. Where's my stamp? Okay, here it is. I get my piece of fun foam. This is just extra thick fun foam. See? And I just use that to stamp on to get a good image. And he's going to go there. And he's actually on Cricut now. I'm going to use the back. Yeah, I'm going to use the back. And then I'm going to use the Have Bots of Fun from Kids Incorporated again, Scrappy Moms. Where is it? There it is. And I'm going to stamp it with that same black ink from Walmart that it's ink dink doo brand. Nice. It stamps really nicely. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do what I did before and emboss it. I'm going to put my embossing powder. Oh, it's on a chair. <laughs> it again using my melting pot for those times when your embossing gun is missing. So I'm just gonna... Now I do have the image on the back so I don't know what that's going to do but
and it's melting. It takes a little longer, but it works. I saw Suze Weinberg do a, a little, you know, demo of this gun online, and she said you can also use it to bake little clay creations as well. So it's like a little oven. And the back one, nothing happened. I thought it would um, leave a stain inside. It didn't. So there. So now what I'm going to do is see this completes this little guy and I'm gonna um, pop him up on dimensionals when I actually put him on there and color in his little his little hands and this is gonna get attached here and I'm gonna use a um, EK success border punch This one doesn't have the little catch on the back, Jan, like the Recollections one does. I didn't even know that, guys. But see, I just kind of brush it down into my trash can down there. Just have it down below my table. And I'm going to do it to this side. So that's going to go all down there. Okay, and then I think I'm going to put some twine. Now this is twine that I did, made myself with embroidery floss. Not embroidery floss. What is that called? crochet thread. I just put red lines on it and just called it a day. So I'm just going to put a little bow over here. And I just keep it in a little McCormick spice jar. to be kind of want like a little bow over here so okay let's do two And I used uh, my Vic Markets to make the lines on it. I learned it on YouTube. It wasn't my idea to do this. And I don't remember which one of you it was that I watched. It was a while back when I saw it. And it just kind of stuck in my head that, hey, that's something you can do. So, and I'm not going to center him. i put it off center like that. And then I think I'm going to add a, um, what do you call it, a background stamp to this part of the card. <clears throat> I'm using this one from Hero Arts. It's circles. I'm going to use the Perfect Pearls again. This. It's not precise at all, just kind of just wherever it goes. I could leave it that way. I'm 
I'm just going to leave it like a subtle thing. Nah, who wants to be subtle? Let's be, let's be all out there today. Let's use the white. This is really nice. If you get one, make sure you get the one that has the perfect pearl color. I'm just going to go around the edges because that's the only place where we're going to see this. It's going to be quick here. It's going to be another long video. And just dust it off. It looks great on dark, dark, dark papers like this. And then as you know, I told you water is what sets this. So you'd want to wet it. Not wet it, not like douse it with water. See how cute that is? I'm going to pop that up. And then this guy would be right there popped up too and then there's a very cute very simple card I'll probably put some faux stitching up here that's it thanks for watching I hope that video helped you out bye